Hi, welcome to Imaticus Learning. We have been seeing the increasing use of machine learning and artificial intelligence in our day-to-day -day applications. But do you really know how old is machine learning or how did it evolve over the period of time? Machine learning actually dates back to a very old time. It was during the Second World War that machine learning saw its first major application. While the countries were attacking each other, they were transferring messages that were in an encrypted format and were really hard to decrypt. Humans were spending almost an entire day in decrypting that Enigma code. But in the meanwhile, the attacks were already done. That's where a mathematician named as Alan Turing built a Turing machine which was capable enough to decrypt this Enigma code in just a few minutes. The country started using this machine in order to decrypt that Enigma code and could evacuate and save the people in time before the attacks. The second major application of machine learning was in the early 1950s. It was an IBM employee named Arthur Samuel who was trying to develop a computer player for a game called Checkers. His intention behind developing that computer player was to defeat the human user. But when the game was deployed, at the initial stages, Arthur saw that the computer player failed miserably. Of course, the human user was smart to defeat the computer player. But as more and more iterations of that game were played, Arthur started noticing that the computer player was using the same strategies that the human user had used before. That's where he realized that the machine had actually learned. This is what excited the people and they started performing their own experiments in this field. But unfortunately, not everyone was as lucky as Arthur. They tried, but they did not succeed. And that's probably because we are talking about 1950s. Just imagine how less amount of data we had at that time. That's one of the major reasons why the entire field of machine learning faced a downtime. It was again IBM in the 1990s who came up with another major application of artificial intelligence. They were working upon their supercomputer named Deep Blue, where they were trying to develop a computer player for a game chess. They made use of artificial neural network this time and built the model so very efficient that it was able to defeat almost any human user. So they even challenged the world chess champion of that time. And to everyone's surprise, the computer player could actually defeat the world chess champion. This was considered as one of the very major achievements in this field and this piqued the interest of all of the people to start their efforts once again and try out the experiments. And to everyone's luck, the experiments were succeeding this time. Probably because we have moved four decades ahead. And by this time, we had the internet flourishing, which could help us generate a lot of data. So the models that we were building were efficiently trained and were capable of producing some good results. From that time onwards, there was no looking back. People have been constantly engaged in implementing machine learning and artificial intelligence into almost everything. And in today's time, right from the smartphones to the Spotify, from the smart ACs to the driverless cars, we have machine learning embedded into each and everything. So over the period of time, Machine learning has drastically grown and has given us some really good results.